Hello everyone, welcome to FarmPod Tutorial Lesson 13 on Hyperlink. So Hyperlink is one of the features that we use a lot on FarmPod. So basically, Hyperlink is a connection from a web page to another target. The target could be another web page, same page in different location, email address, file, or application. All right, now let's get started. Open a new template, create our db query dataset first. So in today's lesson, we're gonna use two data table orders and all the details for our main report and our sub report. So right now we're gonna make our main report, select everything from orders. So as we expand it, we're gonna drag from order ID to shift it, this five information to the corresponding cell, E2. And also let them expand it from left to right. And also we're gonna give different titles for this one. So right now we're designing the main report, which is our orders. So after we're done finished setup for the main report, we're gonna make another report called the sub report. So in the sub report, we're gonna use the uh, audit detail as our data set. So as we know from the audit detail, it's gonna have different information, a detail information other than others. So such as uh, quantity and price, but it's gonna under the same corresponding order ID. So basically we want to use hyperlink defining these two reports. And by clicking order ID, we can jump to the sub report to the corresponding order details under the same order ID. So that's the idea for hyperlink. All right, so now let's save this one as our main uh, report. All right, now let's make our second template, which is our sub report. So open a new template. Still the very first step, we're gonna create our db query dataset. So as I said before, we're gonna use all this detail, this data table. So select all from all the detail, and we're gonna expand, say what kind of data column is under the other detail. As you can see, we have order ID, product ID, quantity and price. These five information can found different than others. Also, we're gonna design the main body for this sub report, give it a title for a different data column. And I'm also gonna give a general title, all the detail for this report, just to recognize. So in today's lesson, we will introduce the basic idea for hyperlink which is using web report for the jumping design. And also, as I said before, we have different hyperlink functions such as use for email address jumping, for open new application. So these are all advanced settings for hyperlink. If you want to learn more, you can go to the help document or file report on our website. So in today, we're just gonna introduce the basic idea for the hyperlink. All right. So one last step, we're going to make a big title for this one called all the details just for recognize. So make it center and also we're going to give different color for the front and make the front a little bit bigger because right now it's Times New Roman 9.0. All right. So by now we basically done set up the main style for the uh, main template and also the sub template we're gonna call this one hyperlink sub and also save it all right now let's set up for the hyperlink go back to the main report click on cell a2 all the id move on to the right hand pane last option we have the hyperlink setting so click the little plus we can see all the options for the hyperlink setting so in today we're going to use web report as our example and uh, on it we'll have mail and web link these are all advanced setting you can learn from the hyperlink documents. So click on the web report and also select the hyperlink sub that we just made for the sub report. All right, so next we're gonna set up for the parameter. So basically we want to create our parameter uh, connecting with other ID. So in that way, when we're clicking different other ID, it's gonna jump to the corresponding other ID for the other detail. So for the ID, we're gonna use this formula, $3 sign as our value. So follow this format. So the blue color in cell A2 indicates that we have a hyperlink. So now let's go to the sub report. Very first, we're gonna add a template parameter to receive the parameter ID from this main template. So created our template parameter. And also the name should be exactly the same. So uppercase ID. And also you can also create it a parameter through a dataset, it's going to be the same result. 
All right, so next, click on cell A3 on the right hand pane, cell element, filter condition. We're going to bind in the other ID to the parameter that we just created. All right, so right now we're already binding the parameter to the corresponding ID. So by now, already done set up for the hyperlink. So go back to the main part and uh, let's preview. Now let's click on the other ID to see the result. 1002. And let's try another one, 1005. And you can see the corresponding other detail on the 1005. Let's go back to the design that was open hyperlink, the separate part in a new page. Now let's go back to the main report, hyperlink setup page. We're going to use the dialog for the new report open space. So in that way, we're going to show the result. So by clicking one of the other ID, the corresponding other detail will jump in a dialog instead of a new page. So that's a different style. All right, so go back to the designer. We're going to try to pop up in a last style, which is current window. So at the word shows, once we click the other ID, the corresponding other detail is going to open in the current window. So in that way, we'll have to set up a return button for the sub report in order to go back to the main report. So in here, we're going to add a hyperlink web report for the return. So same ID, we're going to choose hyperlink main, the main report, and also the link will open in the current window for the return button. So let's test the result. So let's try it. Click on 104. And also click on return. So all this pop up is under one window. So that's going to be everything for our hyperlink basic setup. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to see you next time.